Hey pool fans, welcome back to another video. It's another what's in the bag. It's actually a player we've done before, but he signed a new multi-million dollar deal. Skylar Woodward. Yeah. What's Skylar, up? first of all, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, life treating you good? Everything's good, yeah. Family yeah. good, kid good? Family's good, you yep. know. Uh, it's all that matters, you know, to me. As long as my family's okay, um, got everything I need, so. Everything's good. Right, let's talk about pool. Let's talk about cues. Last time we did What's in the Bag, you was with Mucci. You've signed with QTech. Tell us about that, QTech rather. Tell us about that. Is it because Shane's with them or do you have any input, any help? No, nah, you know, um, my contract was up and I just was, you know, looking maybe for a fresh start and, and um, QTech happened to reach out like the right time and we ended up making a pretty good deal, so I, I end up moving. Right, let's get the cues out, let's see what all you've right. got. First of all, it's a very nice case, isn't it? Ah, yeah, thank you. Looks like a golf bag. Well, first, I got my Q-Tech towel. Oh, Q-Tech towel? Yeah. We'll have a look at that in a minute. How many cues, shafts, butts can you get in this bag? It looks very it's big. It's four, four butts, eight shafts. Oh, I got my playing cue out first. Right, my... Lay it all on the table, and then we'll get a little yep. look. How long have you been with Q-Tech now? Um, I think like five, five months. So you're used to the cues now, everything feels good. Was it, um, was it hard work changing or did you find it very easy? Um, no, in the beginning, yeah, I struggled just a little, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad trying to uh, get used to it. It didn't take me too long, but you know, obviously it takes I'd say a good six months to a year to honestly to get like fully used to a cue. Oh, you but think it takes that long? Wow. I think maybe six months, maybe I not thought... a year, but it probably depends how much you play. But I, I just, to get like fully used to it, like, cause under pressure situations, you go back to what you honestly know, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So. I thought you'd be the type of guy who just get the cue and go, yeah, I like this cue, I'm done. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, but. Right, it's... what we got here? This is a nice looking cell you've got. You like brown. Yeah, you know, like UPS, what can brown do for you? We deliver <laughs> we deliver packages. That's what you do, you deliver yeah, packages. I deliver right? packages, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what can brown do for you? Right, let's go with the uh, let's do the jump cue first. What's this jump cue about? Okay, the jump cue just came out like this past week. Oh, okay. Uh, it's called the Surge Surge Jump Cue. It's the Avid series line of the jump cue. It's actually it's really good. I I really like it, and uh, I mean, you can't you can't beat you can't beat it for the for the price, really. Well, obviously, we're filming this video after a match you've just won, and the jump shot at Hill Hill helped you. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, it's perfect timing. Good timing, this yeah. video. So that's the surge, that's the length. Obviously, I'll do some close-ups for the fans and everything. Right, let's slide that one out of the way. Let's talk about the break cue. Okay, the break cue is uh, the avid series also it's the new surge break cue the avid line it's um it's really good i think i mean my personal opinion i mean i think it's one of the best break cues honestly i've ever i've ever used and it looks Maybe like the, the jump best cue. so it's like matching the jump cue right? yes exactly like i mean they they come in like black and gold brown and black and i think there's a gray one but and it's also the same for the jump cue but i mean i think I think for for the for the pricing of these, you just absolutely can't beat the Avid line at all. I'll, I'll drop the prices yeah, in on yeah. the video so the fans can see. Now, do you know what weight the brake cue is? Is that not something no, you pay attention to? I think it's to? probably. I end up. I remember. I think it came 19, but I think I added a half ounce. So I want to say it's like 19 and a half. Oh, so you would always prefer a little bit of weight in the brake cue? I've always broken 19, but. I switched to 19 and a half playing with it at home and I think I've just never played with it again so I just I've left it um, but I mean I, I really like it the way it is so I just haven't I ain't messing with it I'm, I don't change nothing as long as I'm I feel like I'm hitting them good with it so I've just kept it the same right and th there's no wrap on that so you like that little varnish you feel that's how I like to actually yeah 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 I don't like the wrap on yeah no wrap I've always preferred a wrap but uh, probably the last few years Three or four years, I've went to like no wrap on my brake cue. I've, 
I've liked it a, a little better with no wrap. The tip, is that talum tip on that? Yeah, talum tip on my brake cue and jump cue, actually. And that does that come like that, or have you put them on specifically? Mm. No, they come with the with phenolic. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm I'm sponsored by Talm, so I use their tips and and chalk and stuff. So um, yeah, I have the Talm brake tip on. Yeah, and sure. jump cue and, and on the, the tip on the brake cue and jump cue. Right, I'm sure people watching are familiar with tower uh, equipment and, and things like that. So that's the brake cue. That's a nice looking brake cue. Let's talk about the plane cue. I can see yeah. you've got two shafts. Is this both playing shafts? Yeah, both playing shafts. Um, I just play with the regular, the, the first Avid series line, the um, just the pretty much the plain Jane simple one with four points and and uh, but I had the brown wrap actually put on myself, and I think, I mean, I think the brown wrap made it pop. But it's. Um, I agree. I think you've got a bit of style going on. Yeah, there. but if I've, your pool career's over, maybe you could design cues. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's that's <laughs> the play. No. Um, and is that just leather? Just a leather wrap. Just a leather wrap. It's a lizard. Um, but yeah, it's just the the first era um, Avid series cue, and then uh, this is actually the cue out the shaft I play with. And it's actually a prototype Avid shaft that, okay. I, th that I think will be coming out soon, I'd say, because they make 1175 and 1275, and this is actually the 1225. They want the one in between, so. Uh, so you use 1225, yeah. 25, okay. And tip-wise, what do you shoot with? I play with the Techno Dud made by Altsville. You still use that tip? Yeah. I remember on the last video, you liked that tip. Techno yeah, yeah. Dud. Okay. Weight, do you know the weight of the plane cue? 19 around 19 between you just 19 pick, and 19 and a half probably you just pick it up and think that feels okay yeah and then maybe shoot. put a little weight and if i feel like it's better i'll stick right. with it. i don't even it's i think it's around i think it's 19 between 19 and 19 and a half right on on the spare shaft i can see a different color it's not the ferrule is it is that like a tip what would you call that yeah Under this is um actually a prototype tip that Fort Worth Billiards um, started making. Um, that is not out yet. I was testing it, but it's got a pad. But it's That's got it, the, the tip. The it's it's made uh, it's made different to like into the pad. So it's it's different, but it's nice nice tip. But I'm so used to the other one, it's hard to switch mm -hmm. over anyway. So. And you use standard length Q. You don't bother with extensions and nothing yeah, like that. Yes, standard length. Um, no, I've never liked the extra on the back, um, so I've just always been standard for me. Well, the queue looks a little long on you, eh? you know, yeah. Well, told me, eh? so the queue's probably built right for you as it is anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right, and then we have got the extension. Yeah, the duo extension. It's got the three and the six. In case you're really short and you're like me, you use the whole thing every time. You don't like <laughs> the bridge now? No. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I'd rather use the extension. Fair enough. Right, what else? That's the Qs. That's the new Avid Range Q Tech Surge Brake Jump. What else is in that lovely bag of yours? Any any goodies? Well, I got a couple of extra tips in case something happens. Uh, tip tool. I have the Q Tech Scuffer. It's got the tip pick and stuff in it. Um, I got some a couple of sharpies, Carl. In case you want to autograph. I, I want you to sign my uh, my hand when this yeah. is finished. You're very well prepared, aren't you? Oh yeah. Never weight, had you down as this weight kit. Um, if I feel like I'm off or something, but I really don't know what to do, so I don't don't use that. Just keep it the same. <laughs> so you could. So you've got like an Allen key or a, a tool for the back of it. You can whip the weight. Yeah, out, yeah. You can whip the, the bumper off, and wow. then and then put the there's spacers and weights, um, which I already have my weights in there. But like I said, I don't really. If I'm used to it, I don't really, I don't switch anything anyway, so I never touch it. Right. And I got my charger in case uh, phone goes dead. Important. AirPods when my family calls so I could talk to them. Or listen course. to country music. Or listen to country music. Um, let's see. I got some more Q Tech gloves. Well, last time I remember you just kept pulling gloves uh, out. Gloves. I only got these, like four. Oh, Q-Tech, um, some more gloves. Got my, yeah, got my joint protectors and then all my chalk here. 
uh, the Town V10. Um, looks like that is it. In is that here. everything in the bag? Everything in the bag. That's everything in the bag. And that's all the On cues. the inside, and then I got my huh? got my bush light towel. Oh, he's got his bush light towel. The last video you did, you had the t-shirt on. You're not going to forget bush light. No, nah, bush light's where it's at. If you never have one, get you one. Yeah, you need to get me some. Next time I come to America, make sure you get me a case. I uh, will, I got you. I'll pay for, I'll buy you one. Oh, thank you. Buy you a case. So that is what professional pool player Skylar Woodward travels around the world using. That's what's in his bag. He's signed with Q-Tech. Skylar, you're playing some good stuff. Clearly, this is good equipment. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's great. I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Some of the best cues I've honestly played with. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a go. One break with a break cue, see what it feels like. All right, yeah. Cheers, Skylar. Thanks a lot. Yep. Carl's coming out of retirement for one nice break. Let me move that bit of dust there. I was always a bit funny about stuff on the table. You racked them, so if I don't break them, it's your fault. <laughs> but it feels good, actually. It just feels good. Right, am I going to squat the cue ball here? Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to squat Whitey for sure, right well, in the middle. First break. I can't remember the last time I broke at this game. That is not bad first go. That feels very solid. You need to learn your racking, though, Pat. No, I think it's the way you hit them. You hit them a little off angle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Flat bite, that feels really nice indeed. Thanks for letting me know, Pat. Yeah, good break.